hi everyone and welcome to my channel this is Irene's DIY addiction and today I have another unboxing video I have this huge box it looks really big but actually it doesn't contain a lot I have five or six dolls here so today we'll have very beautiful dolls review so <laughs> let's open the box The box is really huge but actually the contents is not that <laughs> vast uh, because uh, each doll is packed in its own box so to be sure it will arrive safe and uh, this box traveled quite a lot when, before it got to me because right now because of sanctions we can't ship dolls directly from the US this is prohibited so I had to receive it via Kazakhstan thanks to Natalie and her friends and I'm really excited about this parcel because the dolls which I have here are very beautiful and here is the first baby uh, this is the Max Oscar Arnold doll I think yeah, this uh, was uh, called Welsh Company. This is a German doll. Oh my gosh, her lashes are coming apart. And this little baby is really cute. She has some issues. Uh, her head is cracked, but all in all, she's very nice. I actually bought her to use the body but maybe I'll save her as she is because she's really nice looking. I haven't dressed her to have a better look uh, at the body. So uh, she uh, definitely had been restored before. Uh, there are some areas on her body which were repaired and looks like this hand had been repaired too because the fingers are not original and she's missing. Oh, she's missing uh, the finger here and well all in all she's very cute you know she's on a cheaper side this doll wasn't uh, very rare or expensive but she's very nice and I think I could repair her and dress her and she would look very beautiful This is a really beautiful baby. Have a look at her. I was just <laughs> crazy about her body. <laughs> uh, the seller told she had a really pronounced behind and you can really see she has quite a peachy butt, <laughs> which I love. She's very, very nice and kind of plumpy. And she has the most beautiful face. Uh, I think this is Altbeck and Goshek, but she she has no uh, information except for the number of the mold. This is six hundred thirty-nine, and it says ten. So I'm not really sure about if this is ABG or not, but she's just amazing. I loved her at the very moment I saw that eBay listing and she has that really nice little plumpy legs. Unfortunately, looks like either mice or a dog had eaten her, her right foot but I hope I'll be able to work with this and 
What I really love is that uh, the porcelain here is uh, in perfect condition. Even her arms are nearly perfect. She has just a couple of little chips on her fingers. But all in all, oh, that's fine. And her face, oh, just look at it, she's amazing. You can see she has no eyes, but the seller told uh, it is inside the head because looks like she is a Belton type doll. So I'll have to disassemble her to have a look at what is inside. I will not do it probably right now, but I'll maybe do this later. just couldn't resist and I decided to uh, disassemble her as I'm going to do this anyway. So she has actually a lot of problems with her body which I'll have to uh, work with and uh, the body is missing some quirk. Uh, so I'll do this but just have a look at her eyes. Uh, they were really inside the head and she's so beautiful. I'm just in love with her. And uh, the issue I've uh, forgot to mention, she has a tiny crack on her head, so I was wrong about the porcelain is fine. I'll have to do something, but um, I'm really happy the eyes are fine because it's always so great to have the original eyes uh, uh, of the doll and those antique eyes are really hard to find and uh, it's quite hard to find this color. She's blue-eyed. I love her. I forgot to mention she has the most amazing cotton dress. Uh, I think this uh, was uh, a chemise or something. Just look at this lace. It is simply gorgeous. The next doll I would say is the best of all the parcel and the most beautiful one. I just fell in love with her at the very moment I saw this little baby. Uh, this is uh, an ABG doll as well, I suppose. Uh, the only issue she's dressed awfully, so I'm going to remove this awful dress. <laughs> I don't know, I hate when the antique dolls are dressed in modern fabrics, in synthetics. It's just... Oh gosh! They have sewn the sleeves on her antique body. It's, it's a cruelty. I don't know. The one who did it <laughs> is just... This dress is going to trash <laughs> and oh she has the most beautiful original stockings and they had been sewn on her legs there are some stitches still present and I'm going to remove those awful sleeves. She also has the wig. And some plastic booties which will go to trash as well.
you may think that I buy dolls much more often than I make uh, restoration videos but I have to say it's really hard to find a doll which is good for filming because mostly the dolls which are sold they don't have major issues uh, and it is not very interesting to make a video about them therefore um, and those that have major issues are rarely offered for sale so the very moment i can see a doll which i love and which uh, kind of falls into the channel concept i buy it and i have quite a big uh, collection already waiting for being restored but i still keep <laughs> uh, buying more just to have uh, stock <laughs> uh, for future so this is i think an abg doll i told you and just look she's so beautiful uh, she has some tiny issues uh, on her face she has a tiny chip uh, under her right eye and another chip here on the left eye but her eyes are just amazing she's looking right into your soul <laughs> and uh, she's a belton type you see she has a rounded head and she has no mold number just the number eight maybe uh, she has it here under uh, the leather but i will not open it yet because you see the body is quite in a poor condition so i'll have to work with the leather and the uh, wig she has i think it's also a synthetic one so i'm not sure if i'll keep it i'll have to check if this is a real hair or not but she looks pretty cute in it oh, she's amazing and i also love her body i really love this um, type of uh, a pattern they used uh, the German dolls the later German dolls they had quite uh, a simple body I'll remove the wig to have a, a better look but the uh, earlier dolls they have these <laughs> very cute butts I just love it and they have those clever little inserts which let the doll sit I will not push her to sit because uh, the leather is pretty fragile but you see she can move her legs thanks to those inserts she can sit she can stand and uh, she has uh, a ladylike uh, figure with a tiny waist and bigger hips so i'll be able to dress her very beautifully in a lady's dress the next one is really small and here I have this little sparrow, <laughs> this little doll head. I have got several small doll uh, bodies which are missing the heads, so I bought this little baby. Uh, I've shown her on the doll lovers forum and I was told this is Simon and Halbig doll, but I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, she's kind of pretty. I love how she looks. I have only three packages left so uh, oh this must be the gift from Natalie uh, this is the most cute little porcelain box it says morning glory so maybe this used to be some perfume yeah the language of flowers yeah, this looks like uh, it used to be storing some perfumed uh, powder or maybe tobacco or something. But it's really nice. Thank you, Natalie, if you're watching this. Then I have the little body. I've bought it for the head, which I already own. And... Oh, I, I have some passion to very nice looking doll bodies. Not all the antique dolls had 
beautiful bodies and this has just the same uh, posture just the same look which i have already shown to you with a very nice plumpy butt and those special parts uh, which were used for making her seat so she's quite mm, plumpy as well but she has a uh, very pronounced waist uh, the body is made of some kind of felt which is really unusual mostly the bodies were made out of leather but this uh, could be probably the cheaper version sometimes uh, they were made of felt i know this and uh, i have a doll's head which is uh, from a china doll it is white porcelain and i'm going to probably replace this little arm and use this body to make a complete doll and at last the most exciting parcel for me because i already know what is inside this is the head of a doll and it is just gorgeous well i hope <laughs> Even has a plate inside oh my gosh and and here is the baby So this is the most amazing baby. <laughs> I think this is a Gebruder Kunlenz doll and her eyes just look, she's, she's simply gorgeous. I have no body for her yet and um, she has, she does have an issue. Uh, she has a little hairline going here and this is 41 uh, 29 mold so I think this is Gebruder Kuhnlenz uh, fabric and what I thought to do is to remove the um, shoulder plate as it is also cracked and reassemble her using a composite body and not a leather one and uh, this uh, is quite a rare size for those early dolls and I think this small is pretty rare so she's just such a beautiful baby and I'm sure she will be a star in one of my future videos well I hope you enjoyed uh, unboxing those beautiful dolls together with me right now i'm working on another restoration video and <laughs> i hope to finish it soon uh, if they stop working outside and will let us film with those nice sounds hope to see you in my next video bye <laughs>